Good evening and welcome to Somerset County Library's personal enrichment series online. Uh, we are currently doing a series of Google Applied Digital Skills classes. And what these classes do is teach you about the different Google apps that are available to you. And while you're learning about these apps, you're actually completing a fun project. So this month, what we are doing is we are writing an if then story. And an if then story is one where the reader actually becomes a part of the story. So the reader is going along, they're given a situation, they, they're given choices to make within the story and depending on what choices they make will determine which path the story takes. So last week we started coming up with ideas for our story and this week we're going to learn how to make the story interactive. If you want to work along at your own pace you can go to, we have a digital skills classroom set up, and you can go to g.co slash applied digital skills slash get started. And you sign up as a student using your Gmail account. And the class code, you'll be asked to enter a class code, and the class code is 8GQS. F. So feel free to join us there and by joining us in our skills classroom you'll actually get access to some files that are referred to in the classes and that will help you with the um, assignments. So let me go ahead and switch my screen here. And I'll share my digital classroom with you. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but let's do this instead. Okay, and there we go. I need to be able to share my sound with you. Okay, so I, actually let me go back here. Actually, let me close that tab. And then I need my address. Okay, cheek. Co. Bear with me a second here. That's why I have my tabs all open and ready to go. But I wanted to show you how to access the classroom. Okay, so you're going to sign in as a student. I'm already here as a student. I'll go to my classes. But when you first sign up, you might have to go select that you're a student. And like I said, you'll sign in with your Gmail account. And go to my classes. And this is the only class that I'm signed up for in here, so. It takes me directly to the classes that I'm working on. And you can see the different lessons that are available in this classroom. So we started out, we started out the series, we talked about creating a resume. Um, some reason that does not look right. Let's 
So we can go to classes, join a class. There we go. Okay, let me do join a class. <clears throat> and hopefully it doesn't put me back to the beginning. Okay, our code is. <clears throat> Let me get the code. Okay, the code is eight G Q S three F. Oh, that was from when I was taking the class that showed us how to do this. All right, so the personal enrichment series online is the class title. <clears throat> and you can create a resume. We talked about cover letters, how to join virtual virtual meetings using Google Meet. And now we are doing the if write an if then adventure story. And that will take you back to the beginning of the class. So if you started late with us, you can go ahead and review all the information that we've already talked about and you can get caught up with us that way. And I'm going to go switch back to that other class because I already have it in progress. All right, why isn't it showing it in progress? I guess it won't make any difference if I go back to that class. So let me do the one that I'm actually signed up for here. The other one was a training session when we were started to learn about I'll just flip through these real quick so I can get back up to where we're supposed to be for tonight. Okay, so last week we brainstormed ideas. We talked about using Google Docs and how to collaborate with other people virtually. And yes, I already submitted that survey. Okay, so now we've brainstormed our ideas and I sort of did mine backwards because I originally thought thought about doing an if then adventure story because we got some books in called Danny Danny does or no what should Danny do so we got several books in about what should Danny do and Danny is presented with these life choices and if he makes one decision one thing happens if he makes another decision, something else happens. So that was part of the interactive story th thought that we had. And then we took this class about using the digital skills from Google and they actually had a lesson in there on if then adventure stories and it's like, oh, cool. So we knew we really wanted to do this. So I'm sort of working backwards, but in the class you would come up with like several different settings. Or you and your collaborators or your teammates would come up with several different settings, different characters that might be in the story. A plot and then once you narrow down your setting character, plot, you would come up with a synopsis. 
So in my example here, I have the setting as the breakfast table. The characters are Danny, mom, and little brother. And the plot is that mom gave the special plate to little brother. So Danny comes down to breakfast to find that his mom gave his favorite plate to his little brother. Danny really wants to use that plate. And the dilemma that Danny is faced with is should Danny throw a fit until his mom gives him the plate or should Danny let his brother use it this time? And his choices, his choice has consequences. And so that was the story that or the idea that I have for my if then adventure. So let's learn how we put this all together. In this activity, your group will create an interactive story in Google Slides using the story elements you chose in your brainstorm document. To do this, you'll collaborate digitally, create and link text boxes, and add images and other design elements to support your story. Check out this example. This slide includes multiple choices. If the reader selects walk, then they're taken to a slide where they're walking through the rainforest. If the reader makes a different choice, like paddling a canoe, then they advance to a slide where they're in a canoe. Each slide describes a problem and provides the reader with several choices. To start, select one person in your group to create and share a presentation. If you are that person, open Google Drive. Then create a blank presentation. If you have a title for your story, use it as the file name. Otherwise, name it Interactive Story. Next, share the presentation with your group members. Enter their email addresses. After the presentation has been shared, open it from your own computer. Open Google Drive. View your shared files and double click on the file. Then Return to the Google Drive tab to add the file to your drive. Once everyone in your group has opened the presentation, move on to the next video. Now it's your turn. Select one person in your group to open Google Drive and create a new presentation name the presentation and share it with your group. Then open the presentation from Google Drive. Okay, so I open another tab here in my Google Chrome and I'll go to the Google Apps and open my drive. Okay, click on new, click on Google Slides, and blank presentation. And I think I'll call mine Danny's 
Dilemma. For some reason, Dilemma does not look right. Dil doesn't look right either. Okay. So Danny's Dilemma. And then if I was working with somebody else, I would share it. And make sure that they are selected as an editor. If they are just as a viewer or a commenter, they won't be able to make any changes to the presentation. So since you're working on this all together, you'll want to be have everybody in as an editor. And they'll get a notification here is our interactive story. So they'll get a notification when that share is, or when that file is shared. All right, so let's go back and learn what the next step is. In this video, you will create a title slide and set up the first scene of your story. Your group will work together at one computer to create the first two slides. Later, you will add more slides to your presentation on your own. First, create a title slide. Add a title that fits your story. For example, your title might be Rainforest Adventure lost in space, or totally awesome story. These are just examples. Your group will create its own unique title. Add a subtitle if you'd like, or leave this box blank. This example uses an interactive story. Next, add a new slide by clicking the new slide button. Describe the problem in your story. In this example, the main character decides to go on a rainforest adventure. In the body of the slide, provide more detail about the problem. This might include describing the main character and where the story is set. Once your group has described the problem, discuss the choices the reader could make at this point. Each group member should come up with at least one choice. Don't put these choices on the slide yet. In the next video, each group member will add one choice and create a new slide. Now it's your turn. Gather your group around one computer. As a group, add a title and a subtitle to your title slide. Add a new slide and describe the story's problem. Then talk about choices the reader could make. Finally, return to your computer and move on to the next video. Okay, so right now we can't gather as a group unless you're a family group and you're working on this story together, which would be great. I think be a great family activity. So, working on your own, come up with your title. And I already said that mine is Danny's. Oops, Danny's. If I can spell Danny correctly. Dilemma. I knew that didn't look right. Okay, I'm going to change it up there. Okay. Interactive story. Okay, then we create a ne the next slide. And see. So 
So my title would be, or my heading would be, I think I need to narrow it down some, don't I? Let's see, I already started writing stuff out. Well, this is from the book. And just for the purposes of an example, I'm going to use this book. So, mmm, do I smell pancakes? I love pancakes. I zoom downstairs, chocolate chip pancakes, I yell. But then I see my brother Charlie eating from our ninjutsu ninja plate. That plate is my favorite. I want the ninja plate, I say. I know you love that plate, mommy says, but Charlie is already eating from it. She puts two pancakes in front of me, but they're on an alphabet plate. I already know my alphabet. Okay. So that is our what's happening. So let's go back to the video and find out what to do next. In this video, each group member will add a text box that describes a choice the reader can make. You'll then link that text box to a new slide. For this part of the activity, each group member will work at their own computer, but you'll work in the presentation at the same time. On the slide that describes the problem, insert a text box. Click, drag, and release to create the text box to a desired size. Then type one choice in the text box. Next, create a new slide in the presentation. Describe what happens when the character makes that choice. Check out how this works with everyone adding their slides at the same time. Each person in the group creates a text box and a choice. Then each person creates a new slide for their choice. Mia creates a slide for walk and includes what would happen to the character if they picked that option. Molly creates a slide for drive. And Antonio creates a slide for how to look anew. Everyone in your group will add choices and slides at the same time. It will help to follow these guidelines. First, right and second person point of view. The text in the title line should always start with you. Second, title each slide with the choice the reader made in the last slide. For example, when the reader clicks drive, the next slide is titled, you decided to drive. 
If the reader chose walk, the slide reads, you decided to walk. Following these guidelines will help your story flow and make it easier for others to link to your slides. Although you will be working at your own computer, continue to discuss ideas with your group and ask each other for help. On your new slide, type a problem that will move the story forward. Here, the reader decided to walk. Then they hear a noise coming from a tree. This additional text sets up the next problem. Next, return to the slide that describes the original problem and link the text box to your new slide. Highlight the text that matches your choice. From the menu, insert a link. From the drop down, choose slides in this presentation. Then select the slide you created for your choice. This list contains slide titles. If you followed the guidelines and titled your slide with the reader's choices, you can easily link to the correct slide. Test the link in presentation mode. Great! In the next video, you'll continue to add choices, slides, and links. Then, you'll add images to illustrate your story. Now it's your turn. Create a text box and type in a choice for the reader. Add a new slot and title it with the choice. Follow the guidelines. Always write in second person. You, your, yours, and always include the choice in the title. Link the choice to its slide. Test the link in presentation mode. Once you've added and linked one slide, move to the next video to continue building your story. Okay, this is gonna be cool. All right, so in my story, I guess I probably should have, should have been your, your brother is eating off your favorite plate. But. All right, so I'm going to create couple text boxes and the first one is going to be throw a fit and then we'll create a second text box eat your pancakes quietly. Okay. And you can move these around too. All right, so let's Create my second frame, and this one is Danny throws a fit, and then we'll create a, another frame. Danny eats his pancakes. ABC plate. Okay, so we go back and highlight the text that we want to link. Insert link. Oops. I scroll down and I shouldn't have. Okay, insert link. Slides in this presentation. D. 
Danny throws a fit. Apply. And then this one. Insert link. Slides in this presentation in. Okay, where's slide four? I did hit enter, didn't I? I know currently it's the last slide, so. No, that is not what I want. Oh, yes, it is what I want. OK. All right, so. If we go to presentation mode. Hit throw a fit, it goes to th Danny throws a fit. And let's see, can we go backwards? Hmm. Okay, let's just. Okay, so, and Danny throws a fit. my story. Okay, so I have my links, I have my frames about what will happen. If I take that path, so let's go back to the presentation. And find out what to do next. In this video, you will continue your interactive story by adding choices to the slot you created in the last video and linking those choices to new or existing slides. By now, your group has created and linked multiple slides. Look at the storylines your other group members created. Now, add two choices to the slide you created in the last video. You can link each choice to a new slide or to a slide that a group member created. In this example, Nia could link her choices to the drive and canoe slides, or she could create two new slides.
Test your changes often in presentation mode. If one of the links goes to the wrong slide, that's okay. Change it so that it directs to the correct slide. If you get stuck at any point, ask a group member or a classmate for help. When the story is finished, many slides will link to each other, giving the reader lots of paths to take. Continue to add choices and slides to build out your story. Each group member needs to add at least three slides. Make sure each slide contains two choices and that each choice links to another slide. Check out how this might work. Nia sees that Antonio created a slide where the main character takes photographs. On Nia's slide, the main character sees an anaconda. You could also take pictures of an anaconda. Nia makes a text box and links that choice to Antonio's slide. She also makes another option to run away. She links the option to run away to a new slide and continues the story. Nia tests the story in presentation mode to make sure it makes sense after adding each slide. When you finish adding problem slides, include at least one ending. Link the ending to the first slide in your story so that readers can play again. Your story can have multiple endings, but make sure that each end slide has a link to start over. Once you're done adding slides, illustrate the story. To do this, change the theme, background, fonts, or colors, or add effects to make your slides more appealing. Add images quickly and easily. Now it's your turn. Add multiple choices to the slot you created in the last video and link those choices to new or existing slides. Add and link at least three new slides. Every slide except the endings should have at least two choices. Test the story frequently in presentation mode. Continue to add to your story until each group member has added and linked at least three slides or when instructed by your teacher to move on.
Okay, so I'm going back to my story. I might have to change this a little bit. But I can do that later. So Danny throws a fit. Um, am I going to get to my next link? Let's see. See, we all do this. I'll make this. I'll make this my link on this page. Okay, so I'm going to create a text box. I'm going to put control X and control V. Highlight that. Oops, I have to create my, I have to create a new slide yet. So after four, I create a new slide. And this will be the consequence. OK, so now I can create a link from here to slide four. Insert a link. Presentation slide five. Apply. And let me go back and check this link. Okay, it's still going to eat your pancakes, I think. Gotta check it. Check it in presentation mode. Nope, that's what I thought. Because I selected go to the last slide, it's going to the last slide, which is no longer correct. So let me escape. And let's see if we can figure out how to change. How do we change that? Oops. Edit link. Okay. I don't want that one. I want slides in this presentation. Okay. Danny eats his pancakes. Okay. That's why it is important to check your work constantly to make sure it's still, things are still going to where they're supposed to go. Okay.
And I think I'll make this my link. So create a new text box. And then I need to create another slide. And then the result of eating his pancakes is Mommy takes them to the park. Danny finishes eating his oops eating his delicious pancakes. Mommy tells us to get ready because we're going to the park. Score! I love the park. All right, so I'm going to create a link for this. Insert a link. Slides in this presentation. And slide number six. All right. And he said for each end slide, since these will be my end slides, go back to the beginning. And then I can create a link for that. So when we get to the end of the story, we can go back to the first slide. Actually, I think we need to go back to slide number two. Edit, okay. X slides in this presentation. Apply. Okay, and then this one is the last slide here. Back to the beginning. And I'm going to make a link out of that, which will take us back to slide number two. All right. So if I click on that, it takes me back to the beginning and I can choose one of the other options then. All right. Okay, so we got links set up. We should go through and test them all, make sure they take you to the correct slide. And on our last slide, oops, I don't want that there. I have it on the wrong screen. This is the screen that I want it on. Oops. That's what I wanted to do though. Let me see. Does it let me do this? Nope. Okay. Beginning. And we're going to insert a link. Okay. So now the links are on our last two frames. That'll take us back to the beginning, and we can take another choice. 
OK, so we want to change our background. Let's see. We can upload any pictures if we happen to have anything on our computers that we want to use. If we have something in our Google Drive we can use. Google image search. And one thing about using the Google image search, any of the images that you find will be copyright free. So they'll be free use. Ninja. Let me see if I can find a ninja plate, since that's what we're fighting over. I wonder if I put quotation marks around this. I know if we do searches for information, sometimes putting quotation marks around it will help narrow down the options. And it narrowed them down. I guess I'll use that one. Insert. Doesn't look very much like a ninja. Okay, how do I change the size? Oh, I made that the background instead of... Reset. Didn't like that. Okay, insert image, that's where we would need to, so we can search the web. And put Ninja Turtle plate. Why am I getting Kermit the Frog? Okay, so I'll just go ahead and use that one that I had found earlier. Insert. Still doesn't look like a ninja to me, but anyhow. Okay, the only thing is it's covering up my text. So I think we would have to format. Any transparency? Okay, how do we... Let's just make it smaller then. Anyhow, that's how you would insert the image. Um, themes. We have different themes here. Ooh. Format image. 
can crop the image. Replace the image. Okay, so let's go back and find out what we do next. And next we reflect on what we learned. So each class or each lesson has a part of it where you can reflect on what you've learned, what you thought about the activity, and that helps us to know if you enjoy this activity or not, and if it's something that we should do more of, or if it's something that mm, just didn't go over well, let's see what else we can do. So, um, continue working on your stories and adding pictures and add, add the colors, change the themes, there's themes. So I can put a theme to this. Let me see. Which one do I like? I think I like that one. And you can see when you select a theme, it'll apply it to the other pages or other slides in your presentation and using a theme gives it consistency so that's one thing about using a theme when you're creating a presentation except it lost my words changes the theme it should change the text okay so i'll have to go in and change the color on my text then so it'll show up okay so i have to highlight my text and then i can change the text color And I can format this. And I think I do want to change, change the transparency. Mm, that didn't really work too well. Maybe rotate it a little. There we go. Okay, so you can continue playing with your interactive stories, create your slides that go with your story, outline how you get from point A to point B, and see where your story takes you. Get the links created for the frame. So when you make this choice, you'll go to this result. And continue making changes and change the size of the text here. make it easier to read or to fill the page up more. Change your background. Um, add some images. And the next week you can share your presentations. If you join the digital skills classroom, you can share your share your stories with me in advance. 
and we can go through and oops, missed one. We can go through and enjoy each other's stories. So have fun with this. I'm going to have to come up with my own story, so I'm not using Danny's story. And next week we'll share them. So we'll see you next time.